now. And uh, I want to ask you about this lyric. It's called on the song called Count Up. And you know, it said, when I was a youngin, mama beat me with the belt. Every day she asked what I'm gonna do with myself. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. When I was a youngin, mama beat me with the belt. Huh? Every day she asked what I'm gonna do with myself. Was it, was it like, I want you to go a little bit to that, like, name some truth about that. Like, what do you feel like he meant by that? He meant exactly what he said. Like, I would, every every day I ask him, like, what do you want to do with yourself? Like, you can't just be nothing. Like, you have to, you know, see what it is that you want to do. You have all this energy and you're doing things in school. You know, you need to turn that into some productive energy. And so he would say, uh, he would get spankings because he would be always in trouble. Like, I, I didn't know what to do with him because I would punish him and take games. That didn't work. So if you spank him, then that seemed to do the trick. And then I started... <laughs> <laughs> and then that wore off and then I had to like go back to taking his game and stuff like that away from him and punish him from going outside so when he would be on punishment that's when he started doing a computer and then finding his way around and trying to do music so I guess it worked in a sense because when every time he was on punishment he couldn't watch TV so he would just do beats on a computer and then um, I will always ask him what he wanted to do with himself because I'm very strict on them as far as like doing something like I didn't Become want successful. Yeah, I don't want, like, because his father and myself, like, we're very, like, strong-willed, and we always worked, or we always had, like, something going on for ourselves, and we just didn't like, you know, just people just laying around and just thinking that because your parents have that, you're supposed to have, too. So we wanted productive children. We didn't want to um, have children that we were enabling. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's understandable. Mm -hmm. So I would ask you this. What was the worst thing that you would say that speaking like this did, like, to just sit you off to the curb, like? Like that, that you almost like just wanted to. I want you. You won't wipe your hand with your child, but you know, just be like, I don't know what to do at this point. Oh well, I think I was telling him he was staying with me at the time, and I was sitting in like he like okay, so he would go in his room, and he always would keep a box of Q-tips in my room in the window, and that was his form of exercise. So. I will put it in his closet, like in a uh, closet in the bathroom, but he would take it out and put it back in my windowsill because that was his way of coming in my room and having a little dialogue with me for a little bit when he would take mm -hmm. his break from his music and then stand there for a little bit and talk with me. So he had came in the room this one day and he got, you know, he would get his Q-tip and then stand in my doorway and just kind of twirl it in his ear while he was talking. Mm -hmm. And he said, mom, he asked me a question or whatever. So I said, oh, yes, son. I said, I need you to pay, um, start paying your own cell phone bill because, you know, you start making like way more money than me, you know? Is it off the son, music? Yeah. So <laughs> I, said, <laughs> I said, son, you need to start paying your phone bill. He said, phone bill? I'm not paying no phone bill. And he just got like really out of hand. And he got like, I still blacked out because I couldn't believe like how disrespectful he had gotten. And mm -hmm. I just, I don't know what happened, but I that when he sang in Lonely that he got thrown out, I really did. I threw him out. And if yeah. I had a chance today, I wouldn't have changed it. I would have put him out again today because I don't tolerate disrespect. And so from then, you know, he just like grew up real mm -hmm. fast and he got his own place and everything like that. So we made amends a couple mm -hmm. months after that, but I had to, I had to, you can't do that. Like some of the things that he said, is just yeah. was like off the chain because he started smelling and stuff. Uh -huh. Yes, ma'am. I mean, how old was he at the time? Like when all of this, like when when he was when he got to get the money, you know, he started smelling himself. He was like, and he disrespected you. You put him. How old was he at the time? He was, I think, he was about seventeen turning. He was about almost eight, eighteen or almost turning eighteen. Yes, ma'am. And and I want to ask you this. So, and I know as a, as a mother, you know, that was pretty hard for you to you know put your child out. But you know, you taught Melissa. So when you when you put him out, like, was you thinking about it? Was y'all still talking, or y'all relationship was kind of like? Yeah, we didn't talk at first for a couple months because I mean he I mean I had to stand for something, but I wasn't I didn't I don't feel like I did anything wrong because no, you like, didn't. He, he was whoa, like it was I mean some things like the way he was going off, like I mean I said, Oh no, I don't deserve that. I said you have to go. And when I come back, you better be gone. And he was gone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. You know, but that's what a lot of these that's what a lot of these kids need today. Hard yeah. parenting like you. They do, and it's some. Sometimes it's very frustrating being around parents of today, 
because they allow their children to do so many things that it's like they have no standards at all, no boundaries. And these kids are just do whatever they want. And they just learn, they're not learning anything by them letting them get away with everything. It's just bad because they, they have to learn from somewhere and it shouldn't be in jail or from the outside. It needs to start at home. But I mean, I guess I'm old fashioned, but I'll remain that way. If I had to raise my kids the same way that I did before, I would do it because I have two successful children. Mm-hmm. And my son is deceased and he's still yeah, he's doing still. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, ma'am. 